Scott Henkel, I'm really looking forward to your talk at Saturday University. It's an interesting title. What could democracy be? Part of asking what democracy could be is also asking what democracy has been. So what has democracy been in ancient Athens? What does democracy look like in other countries? What has democracy looked like on pirate ships, in spaceships, during a zombie apocalypse? Lots of creative and critical writers have thought about what democracy has been and have imagined what its alternatives could be, and we're going to take a look at some of that. Our word democracy comes from the Greek, and it suggests a situation where a demos, which means people, have kratos, which means power, rule, or authority. So what does that mean? What power do people have? To what degree in the United States do the people rule? Lots of questions along those lines. I expect a political scientist to be talking about this, but you come from a literature background. Part of the history of the United States has been thinking about who counts as people. And creative writers and critical writers have done much of the important thinking along those lines. Mm -hmm. Poets have thought about it, philosophers have thought about it, historians have thought about it, political scientists have thought about it. And I should say, thinking about what democracy could be, I don't have a single answer, but I think that question is worth asking from a lot of different perspectives. And one of those perspectives is from the perspective of a literature professor, and that's why I'm asking it. I noticed you asked the question, who counts? Who's included in the people's power? We're in Wyoming. We were the first major international polity to, to have women voting, participating in uh, elections, participating in judicial affairs. So we've sort of been pushing here. How does that fit with where we're going on this conversation? It's a great question. Uh, in United States history, the question of who gets included in a democracy, who is excluded in a democracy, has been one of the most important questions that we have. Here in Wyoming, the first state to recognize legally a woman's right to vote, when that happened, Susan B. Anthony said, and I quote, Wyoming is the only place on God's green earth that can consistently call itself the land of the free, unquote. So Wyoming plays an incredibly large role in the history of democracy in the United States. I am really looking forward to this talk, Scott. Thank you. I look forward to it. Go back to college for a day, minus the test, stress, and homework. Join us for three lectures delivered by top-notch professors who will enlighten and entertain you. Doors open a half hour early. As always, this event is free. See you at the next Saturday U.